Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna pull up this video. So here's the deal. There's two parts to the video. And I'm just gonna switch over to this. And um, each of them are about nine minutes long. I'm only gonna show one minute. That's it, just one minute, and we're gonna talk about the rest. But let me start off with this disclaimer that we always give that um, this is not obviously intended to give medical advice or to replace anything that your um, doctor has told you to do. Um, the whole purpose is education and to empower you to be a well-informed advocate for your own health. And Nisha Red really and truly is not a, it's not a miracle serum and neither is these. It's not a miracle oil. There's a lot of components that go into our health. Um, our nutrition is huge, our exercise, our stress, our toxins in the home and our environment. Um, but this is a really, really, really great thing just for overall wellness for every single person. And I, I like to just talk about it from the preventative side and as you know, and try to avoid that. Let's try to use this to fix something. Um, but that's the whole point. It's just intended to be educational. So let's move on to part one, which is everything Ningxia. So I'm not sure if you guys know, but there's these things called essential award kits. They are the best thing for your buck. They are intended to save us money. Um, I don't know. I, I discovered these a year after being on ER and was like, what the heck? Nobody told me about this. Um, so what's cool is what you'll notice is two of the things we're talking about today have their own entire kits. That's how awesome they are. That's how loved they are. There's an entire kit just for Ningxia Red and an entire kit just for Thieves. So we're gonna focus on Ningxia Red first. So let me pull up this video and we're just gonna listen, like I said, to one to two minutes of it, um, just to pique your interest. And if you are listening to the recording, I don't think you're gonna be able to watch it. You'll be able to hear it. If you wanna get your links to these videos, um, you can just contact oilsisters at gmail.com. I'll be happy to send those. So here we go. Let's see if this works. And I'm gonna move my um, camera for this. Okay. As the sun rises on China's Ningxia province on the edge of Inner Mongolia, Dr. Sheng Yuan Li embarks on his daily trek. His morning routine consists of a brisk three-mile walk, yoga, meditation, and a meal of wolfberries. Then he will begin examining, diagnosing, and treating patients. This is a day like any other in this part of China, though Dr. Li is 103 years old. Okay, could you guys hear that? <laughs> that like makes me laugh out loud. Hold on, let me see if I can pull back up this um, presentation real quick. Um, okay. So, okay, sorry, Tracy, if you're on the phone. Okay, so here's the deal. Gary Young, as you guys know, he's a farmer, right? He's a researcher. He goes all around the world trying to find the absolute best of the best. He wants to find plants that are indigenous, that grow indigenous. Um, he wants to find where they come from, where they are at their highest peak. This is why our oils are literally grown from all over the world. He wants to find the best of the best. So why would he do anything different for our Ningxia wolfberry? So um, we're gonna be talking about these Ningxia wolfberries. Wolfberries are also known as goji berries. And so this video series that I just pulled that little video from is called Ancient Treasure, Modern Miracle. So Gary Young is on this journey um, trying to find the best of the best wolfberries because of all of the medical research out there telling just, um, yes, I'll definitely send the link, telling the wonders of this superfood. Super food. So he finds this doctor, Dr. Shane Wan Lee, and that's who they just showed about um, doing his little morning routine, right? A brisk three mile walk, some yoga, some meditation. He goes off to eating a meal of wolf berries and then to examine, diagnose and treat patients. He's a doctor. And then the video says, except he's 103 years old. That blew me away. So, so Gary Young is basically in this video series, he goes to Ningxia, China, which is just a specific province of China where he starts to interview and find um, an older generation of people. And we're gonna talk about that in a little bit um, because he wants to know what is the secret to this culture 
this province of China where these people are living well beyond 100 years old and thriving? What is the secret? So, of course, you guys know there are legends of the Chinese wolf berry or the goji berry that reach back over 5,000 years. These early um, Chinese medical scrolls, they um, talk about the wolf berry that um, strengthen the eyes, the liver, the kidneys, the bones, the, the muscles, the qi, which is known as the life force, also known, um, well known for restoring major organs. So right now we're just talking about this Chinese wolf berry. Um, so what's so cool to me is back, you know, in it wasn't until the early 80s, they said 1982, where it was the first time that um, in this documentary, his name is Cyrus McKell. He was the former Dean College of Science at Weber State University, but his big job was to try to um, have a relationship with China and to improve their technology and to bring some of their products here to the U.S. And so there was this cultural and scientific exchange that was taking place between Dr. Cyrus in the U.S. and uh, Dr. Chow, who we're going to talk about in Beijing. And they really, this Nixia region of China really would benefit from selling their goji berries. Um, and obviously the U.S. could see that there was a medicinal value to these berries, but there was no connection there. So what's really cool is, of course, Gary Young, who's the frontier of just about finding anything cool, <laughs> he de demonstrated this really deep interest in, um, obviously, unique health products right through aromatherapy, but also in the wolfberry. And as you guys know, this product is one of our oldest products. It's seen many, many different revisions over the years. It used to be called Berry Young Juice. Um, there was another name, and now Ningxia Red. So what's so neat to me is that Gary developed this relationship with Dr. Chow over in China, who um, was one of the re lead researchers at the University of Beijing for um, immunology. So he felt so comfortable with Gary Young and felt like Gary had the exact vision he had of bringing this medicinal berry to so many people in the world that Gary was the first person out of his colleagues um, from the University of Beijing that he shared his personal research on the goji berry, on the wolf berry with. How cool is that? So quickly, Young Living became the first large scale importer of wolf berry in the United States. So prior to Gary, the other um, you know, imports that would come from as far as goji berries was all powdered. And, and that's kind of common too that we've seen. We see a lot of powdered or dried versions of goji berry. Not very often do you see a puree, which is what Ningxia is. Ningxia is pureed wolf berries. Um, okay, so let's see. Anything else, Ham, that you wanted to add there? Can you hear me, sister? Can you hear me? Okay, yeah. I didn't know if you had anything else you wanted to add on this slide before I move on. Uh, no, that sounds good. Um, I think it's super important to to note that it is the puree though, because the puree means it's every single part of the plant and not just the juice of it. So you're getting the seeds, the peel and all of that, and you're getting a lot of goodness, not just the actual juice. You've got the fiber with it and all the nutrients in the seeds, and that's really cool. And there's no other version of that. And that's that's so, it's so true. It's almost like the seed to seal of wolfberries, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm, big time. Truly, it truly is. Um, yeah, so there was kind of this exchange that's going, uh, that's taking place. So Dr. Chow was interested in aromatherapy. Uh, Gary Young was interested in wolfberry, and they were able to, to exchange information on this. Dr. Chow was from Beijing. He's not from the Ningxia region of China. He also was equally interested as to why the Ningxia, the people that lived in Ningxia in that particular province were so healthy. So they were both kind of on this journey together. Um, so what's so cool, I love this story, but Gary said, you know, he's going through the province of Ningxia, visiting the older people, the elderly. He says in this, I, I'm going to quote, he said, here's a culture, a race of people that know not the concern of old age. They live every day for whatever they get out of it. They still have a vision and a desire to live and to be alive and to be productive in their society and culture. How cool is that? So he had dinner with this woman, a hundred and 20 year old woman. Yes, you heard me right, one, two, zero. <laughs> he met her at her home where she was working in her garden. And part of what he wanted to do was just interview people. How do you incorporate this berry into your life? How often do you eat it? In what form do you eat it? Is it raw, is it cooked? You know, he's just doing his research. So he goes to take her um, up the stairs of her home for dinner. 
and just trying to be a gentleman, he reached down to take her arm and walk her onto the steps. Well, her daughter, who is 98 years old, slapped Gary on the hand and, and the translator had to translate. He said, Gary, she said, no, thank you. Mother is quite capable of walking up the stairs by herself. And that just made him laugh so hard. Like, here this 120 year old woman is doesn't even want my want my help walking up the stairs these people are truly thriving and they have a will to live so what is their secret that's what he wants to know i just found this all so fascinating so they go into dinner and he's asking and dr chow's there and dr chow's daughter sue is there and both of these people still work um for young living over in china and again, they just started to dream and to plan and where Gary got to share his heart that he believes so much in the Wolfberry that he wants a wide variety of Young Living products to contain this. Um, and he wanted it to come from Ningxia. Ningxia is the hometown of the, of the Wolfberry. So does Wolfberry, do goji berries grow in other part of, parts of the world? Yes, absolutely. In fact, Gary took some of those berries and tried to, actually he did, he brought them back to the Utah farm so any of you guys going to convention um, will see goji berries or wolf berries on the Utah farm. However, he does not harvest or um, he doesn't press those to make our, any of our products. And the reason is, is the same reason why you hear his, his heart and his research behind his oils. He wants only the best of the best. And so there's 80 species of lithium of this wolf berry, but the, the specific species, um, barbarum, so that's that's what we use is called the CM Barbarum, has the highest possible. Sorry for that misspelling. Um, and so why, why, why the Ningxia province of China? Why do we have to go all the way there? Why does Gary have such a, um, a crusade to bring the modern science and technology and innovation from China over here? Well, there's many reasons. So first of all, um, he found that the Olympic athletes in China that the secret to their competitive edge was all getting goji berries from Ningxia. He said, if you go to any of the farmer's markets in anywhere in China and there's goji berries and a local goes to buy them, the first question those locals want to know is, but are these from Ningxia? They only want to eat the goji berries from Ningxia. So one of the reasons is there's the irrigation, the, the water comes from the Yellow River. So that's bringing fresh rain and snow water down into the mountains. The water is super rich in nutrients. Not only that, but the elevation is exactly right for the plant to be the most productive. So that has to do with all of the ecological conditions with the rain, the nutrients in the water and the pH of the soil. So it really is where this, this plant is grown is making it the best as possible. The Ningxia region in China holds a green certificate, which is equivalent to the USDA's um, organic certification. In addition, it's won three gold prizes in China's agricultural fair, as well as a gold prize at the Malaysian International Food Fair. So the, the Ningxia region itself holds a green certificate. That's incredible. Um, so there are a lot, a lot, a lot of documented active ingredients um, and a ton of clinical studies on the wolfberry. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Let me turn my camera on just for the sake of time. I'm gonna reference this book again the Ningxia Wolfberry, the ultimate superfood written by Aaron Young. Um, the book is full of studies. That's all it is. It's just clinical studies, one after the other. So a researchers have found amazing things. Um, let's see, we're going to move on real quick. Hannah, anything here you wanted to add? I mean, it's just like one of another reason why we love Young Living and Gary so mm -hmm. much is because they, they go that extra mile. I mean, it would have been so much easier for him just to take the berries back and farm them at Utah and have them right there in his backyard, but he tests everything to see what's going to be the most nutritious, the most beneficial for us, and that's in Ningxia. And I think that's pretty cool, too, and I think it's amazing that they can go into these communities and make them better than they were before. So now that area in Ningxia has a thriving community where they're getting, you know, um, farm and oils and a bunch of different things. So it's just really cool that we work with these people. We don't just take it and and do what we want with it. I think it's a really cool thing just in, in general in life. Um, so that's one thing. And then the other thing that I love, especially that story of the 120 year old woman is, it, it reminds me a lot of the Ula life, just finding balance. You know, it's not just sitting there and thinking Ninja, but it's also taking dominion over your life, like Sarah Johnson says, and they work out every day and they drink Ninja and they have active lifestyles. So 
it's mm -hmm. so easy to see that it's not, it's very easy to say like this drink is going to make me very healthy and that's so true, but there's so many areas of life that you have to work at um, and yeah. they're a really good example of that. So right. I like that. I feel like it's also, that's so good, Hannah. It's also such a good example to me, like I believe of just God's hand over this company because I've heard story over after story after story, for instance, how we got our frankincense in Oman, how are the only U.S. company able to do that? Or how about the story about how we were the first to go into Hawaii um, from this family-run farm to get sandalwood that beforehand they trusted no one with their farms. And people not only relate to Gary Young, but trust him. They see his vision, like you're saying, to make that place a better place, to bring, to keep that plant around forever and ever. He has no purpose of profit or destruction. It's only for good. And people know that and believe him. And even Dr. Chow and her daughter, um, his daughter Sue said, we really felt like he, she, he, she doesn't, I don't even know if she's like, if she does believe in God, she just said, I felt like there was a higher power orchestrating this where these two continents, these people from two continents on opposite sides of the world have the same vision. And I just hear that over and over. And to me, I'm just like, wow, like this company has serious favor. That's so cool. I'm going to show you guys a two minute video, one more. So again, if you are on your phone, you might not be able to see it. Hopefully you can hear it. It's really short. If not, just hold on one second and I'll be, um, yes, we will, we will definitely provide those links in the comments. So here we go. Gary's crusade to bring the power of the wolfberry to Western culture would draw on inspiration from the ancients and take advantage of the best in modern science, technology, and innovation. There are so many stories fabricated in our world today and, and uh, so many things to promote the selling of a product without the science or the facts to back it up and document it. And there we find the new technologies really taking over and using as a foundation the traditional uses that, that sometimes couldn't be documented. But now we have the assurance that goes along with documenting active ingredients having tested in laboratories. There are at least 80 species of lysium worldwide, with 10 in China. Only the barbarum and chinense varieties have been studied for therapeutic effects, with the barbarum showing the highest nutrient levels in scientific testing. To the people of China, wolfberries from the Ningxia province are treasured above all others. When the people buying the wolfberry, they always ask you, is this came from Ningxia? In the market, somebody will candidate their wallberry is came from Ningxia. Oh, oh yeah, we are, those uh, wallberries came from Ningxia, but sometimes it's not. The Ningxia region holds the green certificate. Okay, there you go. So it's just a little bit of Dr. Chow's daughter, um, Dr. Sue, uh, Dr. Sue Chow. <laughs> They're both Dr. Chow's. One's a professor, one's an MD. Let me open this presentation again. Yeah, so for those of you on the phone, I actually did kind of, oh goodness, what's happening? Can you see the slides, Hannah? Yeah. Okay. Um, I did already kind of give a recap of what those little videos showed. Um, and we're going to get right into this. So here's a quote. It says, the fruits of Lysium barbarum have been used for thousands of years in traditional Chinese medicine and, cu and cuisine, since L uh, Lysium barbarum is believed to be beneficial to the eyes, liver, and kidney. And that is um, Ken Man Xian Yu <laughs> from the Laboratory of Neurodegenerative Disease at the University of Hong Kong. So let's talk a little bit of the science. So the, um, the excuse me, hold on. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything else. So some of the things that researchers have found pretty amazing, but first of all, they started identifying the chemical constituents in the wolfberry. They found that they have the highest level of immune stimulating polysaccharides, also known as glyconutrients. They have the highest um, amount of vi vitamin C, even more than oranges. They have more beta carotene than carrots. It has higher, um, more content of calcium than cauliflower. 19 amino acids, 21 essential minerals, 16% protein by volume. 
When you research and look up the clinical studies in any journal of nutrition, the benefits are really kind of all over the place. And one of the reasons I tell people is because go to like a health food store and just be very careful. Gary was talking about this in the video about just how um, nutri nutrition and you know health fads, they, they really fabricate things. You have to be so careful and know what you're looking for. But for instance, say you go to a health food store and get a drink that says high in antioxidants. Well, look on the back, what are the antioxidants? Well, most likely they will have one, one antioxidant, maybe two. Um, Nisha Red has 19, um, excuse me, 19 different amino acids and 21 different essential or trace minerals. And this is why the testimonies are all over the place because it has so many different types of antioxidants. So in what is the largest field of study in nutrition and health? Anybody know? I'll give you a hint, it's on this slide. <laughs> the largest study of nutrition and health to date is on free radicals and antioxidants. So what are free radicals? Free radicals are basically just unstable oxygen ions. They can be introduced by toxicity in the body, even environmental conditions, but they cause damage to our molecules um, and to many levels in our body, they, they cause damage. Because as they um, accumulate over time, they're, kind of, they're thought now to be the cause of many diseases. Everything from aging to cancer is from uh, over, over production and toxicity from these things called free radicals. So our body naturally produces antioxidants, which as you guys know, antioxidants neutralize those free radicals. However, in our day and age, it's said that we have quadrillion free radical attacks every day. So we are obviously very desperate. Our bodies are desperate for foods high in antioxidants. Now the problem is for scientists, it's been up until you know recently, um, they've had a lot of challenges being able to measure the true antioxidant values in foods. So USDA researcher, Dr. Ronald Pryor became, uh, came up with a new testing process, which you guys probably are familiar with, where he's able to basically um, he looked at all of the health effects that were caused by free radicals, right? A huge, huge list of things that have been caused by these things. Anything from cat cataracts to cancer to Alzheimer's to heart disease, you name it, free radicals have, have an imprint on it. So um, Dr. Pryor came up with basically a method to be able to measure in a lab the antioxidant capacity. So this is what's known as ORAC, oxygen radical absorbance capacity or act scale. So we need to be very um, aware of the things we're eating and, and, and are, they even, um, are they even tested on the ORAC scale? Most times they're not because the ORAC is only done by a fourth party facility. Um, you can look up a scale of ORACs. For instance, you can look up tons of fruits and veggies. Here's a small graph to the right. Um, you can see on the scale, you've got great things here, carrots, onions, oranges, beets, amazing things for your body. Look at Ningxia Red on the wolf, on the, um, the Ningxia Wolfberry. Sorry, not the Ningxia Red, the Ningxia Wolfberry on the Oryx scale. It's incredible, it's huge. We're gonna talk about that more. So you can definitely see that with this amazing nutrient profile and all the antioxidant properties, why the superfood, why um, the wolfberry is such a national treasure, right? Well, so of course, so as Gary's reading this, he now has this vision to get wolfberries or wolfberry extracts in a number of Young Living products. So there are, there are many, and we're gonna talk about this. I love, like Hannah said, that this is a puree because you've got tons of good ingredients here, including blueberry and pomegranate juices, you've got um, lemon and orange essential oils, which are not just boosting to the immune system, but also natural preservatives. Did you guys know that um, Ningxia Red is the number one antioxidant drink on the market? Did you guys know that? I think that's so cool. Dr. Sue Chow, who was in the last video I told you, I showed you guys, she did a study in a lab in her immunology study of, um, in, she introduced wolfberries to animals and she found a huge dramatic increase in microphage levels. Well, what are microphages? They are the white blood cells that eat toxic foreign bodies. So that is a huge key indicator of how the wolfberry can help with immune function, right? You can find that study in the Journal of American Nutraceutical 
lots of published studies on um, the wolfberry. So why is it that you find youth and vitality in homes of these people in the Ningxia region of China, but yet everywhere else, every other country in the world, you don't see that? And that's because this is a part of their everyday lifestyle. Um, so some other really cool things, just like the, um, the polysaccharides, why is that important? That's the very first bullet, the highest level. Um, the wolfberry has the highest level of these things. Well, polysaccharides are found in plants and what they do in the plants is they defend the plant against parasites and viruses, bacteria, any other environmental threats. So when you do a little bit of research on these glyconutrients found in wolfberries, you can see that some of those protective powers are transferred to the humans as well when we consume them, very cool. So I encourage each of you just for the sake of time to Google a health benefit of a bioactive polysaccharide. Find out why that, that's important because if you look that up, then you see why the wolf berry in our Ningxia red is so awesome. So um, I do believe, like I said in the very beginning in the intro, that this drink, you know, Ningxia red is not just for, it's not for sick people. This is for healthy people. This is for antioxidant defense. This is for immune boost. This is for energy read about on, on this uh, left hand side all the things that come in this complex superfood drink um hannah anything else on here that i'm missing that's good okay maybe hannah or i can type but would you mind typing are you saying to spell the bioactive polysaccharides is that what you're talking about um let me type it there are uh, it's written on the slide right now at the very top the very first thing. So tons of things in here. Um, I didn't even mention one of the bullets. I, I'm, I pronounce it when I read it, Zizanthin. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right. That alone in itself deserves some study. You should definitely look into that. And then of course you see vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin B, a vitamin B complex, um, awesome things in there. Okay, so love this video. I really want to show it. Oh, this is a cool image. Um, it's not, it doesn't even have everything because I think on here should be something like 55 oranges. But I love this video I found because if you're anything like me, you've probably questioned if you can even afford Nixarette. I know it's, it is. It's a, it's a big investment in your health. However, if you're talking about drinking one to two ounces a day to support all your body systems it doesn't get much cheaper than that so there's this really cute video on youtube and this girl does a great price breakdown and she said you know what if you don't want to buy um being charrette and drink an ounce a day then go buy all this and eat this instead 34 onions 30 55 actually oh 100 oranges 814 blue organic blueberries 22 um here it is. There's something on here. I don't know. Oh, I don't see it. Oh yeah. 59 broccoli heads. Can you imagine? Can you imagine eating any of this 10 pounds of spinach? Um, so there's a really great video of the price breakdown where she basically says, if you were to drink an ounce of Ningxia a day or buy the antioxidant equivalent in food, you would be spending $6,000 a month on food to get the same amount as drinking Ningxia Red. So when you're talking about, um, is it worth the money? Yeah. And are you talking about, does it save money? Yeah, it's a no brainer. These are, this is a good picture of just how Ningxia Red can support all of the body systems. So, you know, Young Living and Gary does make um, products that are specific for specific parts of the body. Specific systems, <laughs> tongue twister. But Ningxia can cover all of them. That's why the testimonies are all over the place. How cool is that? Um, now, this is another video I would love to show, but since everyone's having such a hard time, um, I'm just going to post it right here in the comments. But basically, this is a video of what Ningxia does to the blood. So, before was this a blood sample taken before Ningxia read? So, you can kind of see that um, the cells are stacked like coins. And so this video, it basically says that because there's no surface area, there's no surface area in these, these blood cells because there's no oxygen flow. They're not able to breathe, they're not able to absorb nutrients, and they're not able to detox. Without oxygen in the blood cells, none of that can take place. 
So 15, so what this person did was they had one ounce of Nimsha Red and 15 minutes later got their blood drawn again. And this is what the slide looked like 15 minutes after. Completely healthy, oxygenated blood cells, um, functioning properly, exactly like they're supposed to be. How cool is that? So another thing you guys learned so here, and it works so fast, 15 minutes. And, he, and he, Hannah said it earlier, it works fast because it's a puree. It's not a dried, you don't need much guys, an ounce a day, two ounces a day. Um, so yeah, would you rather, you know, how one ounce versus how much you'd have to eat to do this? 59 servings of broccoli, 55 oranges, craziness, right? <clears throat> so you can get all this in your body for about a buck 60 an ounce. And that's including tax and shipping. Um, so the lady in this video, she basically says, you can't afford to not be drinking Ningxia Red a day. It's so cheap. What do you have to lose? And there is a lot to lose, right? When we're not taking care of our bodies, there is a lot to lose. Um, so please watch that video. I think that's super fascinating. Here's a good bright price breakdown of all the Ningxia things. So you can see the um, the eight packs, the six pack, the four pack. You can see the... You know, young, excuse me, Ningxia Red comes in basically like a big wine bottle or it comes in those uh, travel packs, the little two ounce packets, the ones that came in your starter kit. Look at the price breakdown per ounce all, all the way on the right. And so you're looking at the absolute most, $1.50, right? Versus look up top, a $5 Starbucks. So really it is just mm -hmm. a matter of you know, priorities and money and where, where is the money going to go to? And is it worth it to you? What, where is your value here? Because I do think we could afford to, to take care of our health for a dollar a day versus what the alternative might be. Right. Anything on this? Do you guys agree? I know, I know for me, it was definitely, it felt like just a huge, huge purchase. Um, I will say that Nature Red is one of the reasons I got on essential rewards because I wanted free Nisha. And I do get free and show with my points often. Um, yeah, anything else, Hans, here? No, I think you got it right. It's just about priorities. Um, I mean, I can think of a lot of things in my life that I could cut out <laughs> to be able to afford it an ounce a day. I mean, if you're if you're breaking it down to $1.50, I've been up over five days and that's literally one coffee. So, I mean, it mm -hmm. helps pretty putting it in your grocery just adding that cost in, but it's definitely worth it. Um, you feel so much better when you drink it. That was, I drank that as a prenatal my whole pregnancy and it was amazing. So I think the fact that it supports every single body system is just so huge and so key to remember is that you're not just taking it for, for one to two things, but it's supporting your entire body. And when you use that in conjunction with oils and a healthy lifestyle, you're just a recipe for success. So it's a pretty cool thing for sure. That's good, Hannah. That's really good. So uh, if any of you guys are going to convention, you're, you should so be looking forward to this um, club red on the top right. It's incredible. Like, Hannah, how many Ningxia shots do you think we had that first year? So many. This is when I fell in love because <laughs> it's amazing. But, you know, anytime you're sitting somewhere listening for a long time, mentally and physically, you just get fatigued. And we would go between every session and get a Ningxia shot or they have like little Ningxia splishies and oh my gosh it was the first time I personally experienced that change of what it can actually do for you and it it was love at first pace for sure. <laughs> Ningxia splishies are the best. Um, so the top left picture is from the Young Living blog. You can go to the Young Living blog, type in Ningxia Red. Some awesome um, recipes, ideas, Ningxia popsicles, so many things to do with your Ningxia, especially ways to get them, you know, for the kids. I mean, it tastes delicious, but um, there's just so many ways to incorporate it into your diet. Here's an example of some of the shots that are found in Club Red. So good. Now, the Atomic Fireball is Ningxia and cinnamon and Akatea. My favorite is this Dream Sickle one. It's number four. It's got a drop of orange, lime, tangerine. Copaiba, grapefruit, lemon. Oh my gosh, I'm dead serious. It tastes like drinks mm -hmm. and um, But you can do this. I mean, and getting your oils, um, putting them into your Nisha Red Shot is a great way to get oils into your system. I do that every mm -hmm. single morning. What do you guys like to put in, there, in your Nisha? I know for me, in the morning, I do lemon, grapefruit. I love any of the citruses. Yes, frankincense, um, peppermint. 
at nighttime, if I take a shot at night, which I do sometimes, I'll put lavender or chamomile vitality in there. Mm -hmm. Nice. Spearmint. Yes, that's a good one. So did and you guys you're know? Really brave, you can mix your mineral essence with it. There you go. <laughs> if you're trying to be all healthy, healthy, and get your enzymes and put your little mineral essence in there and take a shot. And I'll I grow promise some, it makes it more worth it. I'll grow some hair on your chest. mineral essence on your <laughs> Hannah, I want to see your face. I want to pretend I'm hanging out with you. <laughs> Hi. Hey. So, Hannah, did you know we had this many Wolfberry products? I don't. I don't even think I found them all. I was no. like trying to find. Not at all. A few. So, Ningxia Red, Ningxia Nitro, which we didn't even talk about, which is for cognitive focus and mental clarity. Um, Ningxia Zing. Who loves Ningxia Zing? Ningxia Zing is like. It's like a LaCroix with Ningxia and oils in it, and it's healthy and it's vitalizing. So it's like a, a healthy soda. Um, dried wolfberries, people put them in tea and yogurt and cereal, just as a snack with some nuts for a trail mix. Mm -hmm. um, the wolfberry eye cream, oh my gosh, we didn't even talk about benefits to the skin, did we? Wolfberry crisp mm -hmm. bars, the wolfberry syrup that goes with the einkorn pancakes. There's many products, many, many um, supplements. I only named two, but Sulfurzyme and Immupro. Like, the list goes on. Obviously, there's something here, right, that we need to know about this superfood and why Gary is trying so hard to put it into everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so any questions about wolfberries before we move on to thieves? I feel like that was the best we could do in 40 minutes because this product deserves, I mean, it deserves its own class, right? It's an incredible product. I hope that you guys got to see a little bit of 